was spending with the beauty, he seemed to have everything going for him. So you build a story around it, and then uh, all the characters, each character has a different story. And uh, uh, Rahulji asked me a question about being an academician and then coming to, to, to creative writing. Actually, uh, as a matter of fact, I have been teaching over the last 10 years, I have been teaching a course called Narratology and Narratives and Narratology, in which I have been uh, talking about how different narratives are created and I have been discussing um, metafiction and fictional techniques and what kind of narrators we have and so on. Some of my students have worked on uh, this area uh, for their MPhil and their PhD. And uh, that was a great help because then I know who, who should be the speaker out here and how should the stories connect and should there be an overarching. So when Vijay says that the book is uh, very well crafted, uh, I am very happy that he said that because uh, yes, there is, there is that story element in it, but there also has to be a form and structure and if the story is not told properly, if the form and structure is kind of loose and unwieldy, then the impact will be lost. So I am glad uh, that Vijay thinks that it was uh, told nicely and the framework is uh, in the way I wanted it to be. But a lot of it is uh, because of the training, the 40 year long training that I've had and the teaching that I've done to my students, the feedback, the constant interaction. And uh, where are we going? Okay. Well, I think the one question which has already been mentioned about your academic publication, you said 11 books. You, you've uh, you've uh, published 11 academic books, and this is your third novel. Are you going to do more academic books or more novels? <laughs> Sir, there is a, I'm not going to do any more academic books as such because there is one in the pipeline and I haven't been able to find a publisher for it. It's been going down. Uh, writing is uh, or just part of the job. Finding a good publisher who will market your books is another ball game altogether. And my book on narratives and narratology, it is done. But uh, I haven't, you know, it's in the pipeline, it's going around to publishers. I'm not personally to actively because I tell them, see, if you want to publish it, that's fine. It's not going to add to my CV. It's not going to get me another position. It's not going to make any difference to me because I have, uh, you know, I've retired. I'm on re-employment. And, uh, well, I don't expect anything else in my, you know, you know, on the academic level. So, but if you publish it, you will be, you know, my students will gain from it. It's a good book. Even if I'm saying it myself, it's a good book. It's a useful book. You want to publish it, publish it. Don't want to publish it, it's okay. I just don't want to me. So I haven't pressed it too much. That book will be coming out. That is uh, the academic book. And uh, there is one more which is uh, not an academic book. That is non-fiction. And uh, well, as Rahulji has told you, and uh, which as you mentioned, um, I have uh, written a play and I've written three novels, a uh, poetry collection. And this, uh, the one that is in circulation now, which is starting around for a publisher, and right now there's somebody looking at it, that is a non-fiction book on uh, uh, handling of disability. As a lot of you know, we have a child at the home who needs special care. And for the last 37 years, well, very lucky what's it been like. I put it all in a book form, and uh, well, I am hoping that somebody uh, with uh, some publisher would take it up, and, uh, because if you have gone through something, you would like to share it with another because the worst of every every person can be a reason for somebody else's hope. So that was the aim, and it's one of those motivational, you know, do it yourself, help yourself, that kind of a book. Part of it is epistolary. I put a journal of five years into it, and then you know added a you know uh, an introduction some conversations that I've had and also the last two chapters of what is it that you should be prepared for if you have a child like this and what is it that you must avoid and things like that. Don't, don't be guilty, don't do this, don't do that. It's like, you know, that motivational kind. Difficult to write, but now that it's written, I want it to go out to people so that it makes a difference at least to a small percentage, no matter. Okay. Well, uh, just another related question. Uh, uh, how how difficult or how easy do you find it to write an academic book and also a creative book? What, what are the differences in uh, in writing those kind of books? The two different kinds. Um, as my friends here would uh, 